welcome to the special edition of the Federal where we'll be discussing the trends emerging out of Maharashtra and uh, Haryana Assembly elections. Uh, welcome to the show. I have here the spokesperson of the Congress party, uh, Lakshmi and BJP Surya. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now the question to you is the same, both of you. What do you see from the trends so far? I start with you. Uh, so, so uh, speaking from an election point of view, both Maharashtra and Haryana have never been BJP strongholds. For example, you compare it with Gujarat, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, or states like that. So, in both the states, until 2014, we actually had very limited presence. For example, during 2014, the number of MLAs we had in Haryana was only four. In Maharashtra, we had always been a junior partner to Shiv Sena. And for the 30 years up till 2014, there were 180 MLA seats where we have never contested elections. So 2014, we had the Modi wave for the 2014 May Lok Sabha elections, which actually carried forward up till the Maharashtra and Haryana elections. So we had, give the, we had given the performance that was saturation at that level. So now the question of how the BJP as a machinery prepared itself well or you know get got itself equipped in the last five years in these two states where it had never had its base no, you, 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 seem, you know as as the trends are coming you seem to have moderated your uh, uh, you know your, your expectations from Maharashtra the uh, talk was that you on your own without even the help of the ally Shiv Sena will be able to cross the uh, midway mark and even cross uh, you know some astonishing numbers those are the kind of talks which was coming and what happened now you seem to be Slightly on the defense uh, no? No, arithmetically speaking, the BJP contested 164 seats out of uh, 288. And for the majority mark, you will have to get 145 seats. So that is like nearly a 90 percentage strike rate. But 2014, you know, the BJP and Shiv Sena contested, uh, uh, did not contest as an alliance. And BJP contested in 260 MLA seats and it had won 122 seats, which is like a 45 percentage of winning rate. In this elections, we had contested 164 seats. We hope to uh, get the majority on our own, but seemingly now we are somewhere close to 105 which is still a 65 percentage strike rate. Arithmetically, it's a better performance. Uh, but uh, with alliance, you have, you know, you have your constraints. So Maharashtra performance, I wouldn't say it very bad. Uh, so winning 65 percentage in any electoral battle is a good thing. But Haryana, like I said, we had very limited presence. In 2014, we were able to win 47 seats. Now, I think the lead is somewhere around 42. We'll have to wait for the exact figures. But yes, we had expected like 50 to 60 seats in Haryana. But one thing we have to understand is, uh, so without playing the caste politics, the chief minister who was inducted by the BJP in 2014, uh, he's a non-JAT, even though Haryana is a JAT-dominated we'll politics. We'll come to that. We'll come to yeah. that. Let's start uh, with Lakshmi. What is your preliminary or the first response to the, what, what the results of the trend so far? So first thing is, uh, with uh, all humility, we accept uh, the verdict of the people. Um, uh, as far as the lessons are concerned, um, I think our party has to introspect at all levels. You know, at the top uh, leadership level also, we have to introspect. You know, at the state levels, we have to decide if uh, this kind of squabbles that the internal party differences, if they have to be magnified to this extent, can't we? Uh, um, you know, settle these differences within ourselves uh, without uh, external in intervention, you know, public display of these differences. These are things that we have to introspect and I think we will do that as a party. Um, uh, but um, uh, BJP, um, uh, you know, the, 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 kind, the, the way the whole uh, the election uh, discourse has happened in this election, that is something that uh, worries us. Um, if you take Haryana and Maharashtra, the local issues, you know, be it uh, the water scarcity issue or the, you know, the Mumbai city is the most uh, affected uh, because of the economic uh, slowdown. Now we know about the PMC bank scam because of which uh, many uh, Maharashtrians have lost their lives. Uh, we also know about the pharma suicides in uh, no, uh, regions like no, Vidarbha. We, 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 we'll and, go to that. Uh, but, yeah. But before uh, so, that, but I... the thing is, issues. The fact that issues of governance 
take a back seat and it is personality politics that is played up that is something no. which is very worrying all you these, know it is one minute, just hold on. that is being packaged. all these issues which you are now talking in the studio as the results are coming out i don't think that these issues were you know you you know you were able to focus on these issues as the campaign was going on you know your uh, top leadership seems to have completely uh, you know uh, absconded from the scene you know you hardly had few rallies your top leadership was not there congress was completely in disarray you seem to have completely given up how, I, how are you saying i mean these issues you are raising now but these were not the issues which you raised did you re- effectively were these issues raised during the campaign so i take this as a feedback sir and uh, let me also respond to it i i mean i partially agree with it you know if you take haryana we have you know gone about what we expected we have you know gone past our own expectations you know the as the trends have you know, shown you know you gave only 40 days to your new president of the party but uh, in haryana you know we have to give you, the credit to madam minute. sonia gandhi who decided you know who took the right decision towards the end i mean the decision was taken so she has to be give credited with that uh, for that decision so and uh, they with 40 days they could work such uh, wonders so I, i would ask a question so what is the lesson you draw as far as the top leadership of the congress party is concerned sonia gandhi is one what about rahul gandhi uh, i am sure uh, he uh, will draw his own uh, conclusions you know i i am sure uh, you know at all levels not just uh, uh the leadership level at ev- every level and you know, the, the state uh, leaderships also have to introspect and it is clear that the people are unhappy with the governance that has been delivered so if only we present ourselves as a viable option they re- they ready to vote for you as uh, seen in haryana as seen in maharashtra is as well right, because is it right she is saying that it's a real issues which are trying to be raised and you know maybe they did not raise it effectively but people seem to have voted for that whereas the bjp was raising issues on article 370 on issues of nationalism do you think that hasn't worked no so uh, there is a difference so what we sit here and you know see us campaigning uh, things we mostly depend on the media so obviously the rallies of prime minister and home minister get more coverage so other than that even the chief minister had held more than 200 rallies and there were other ministers other state leaders who concentrated on the local issues but when it comes to top level like prime minister and uh, home ministers they are supposed to talk about the achievements of the central government for example article 370 if we talk about it is certainly a very big step this, that this government has taken and we are supposed to tell it to the people i am sure let me just stop you here i am sure you wouldn't have said the same thing if you had come with a thumping majority in maharashtra you would have said this is victory of modi shah policies that's no, what you would have said no i i will still credit mr modi and shah for consecutively winning the state for the second time where we had very negligible present 6 years ago now like i said the state leadership for example for the last 41 years in the history of maharashtra it never had a single chief minister completing the entire term so that talks about governance what more governance do we have to project ourselves of uh, other than giving a stable government look at the projects that got completed in mumbai right from the roads to the rails and even to the metro phase 4 projects Any that are government has to do it <laughs> no the phase in which it is going is obviously better than how it is last uh, 10 days back i went to pune so the pune metro which was still in a deciding phase during the ncp and congress government is almost 50% completed so it is not that people you know just like that support the government or just for the face of some x or y so there are governance governance level achievements of this gov- this government so you are trying to say that fadness actually performed well he completed his five there is term no doubt. and that's what people have responded there is no doubt uh, uh, but, but, but what about your ally shiv sena whom when uh, you know which was asking for a 50 50% share in seat sharing uh, were actually almost ignored it was a, almost they were treated as a you know uh, as, as a junior partner but the the the, the table seems so turned here isn't uh, shiv sena electorally perform better than bjp uh, certainly not see why did shiv sena agree to be a junior partner it is purely based on they, the they never agreed they said we are 50 50% it's bjp which is treating them as a junior not partner not at all see now 
we agree or not 164 and 124 is like 40 seat more the bjp is contesting that formula comes out from the 2014 assembly election results where they both contested independently so uh, when bjp had won 122 seats shiv sena had won 64 seats so which is almost double the performance which bjp had done and that is one of the reasons why shiv sena did not have the upper hand in the alliance negotiations Second thing um, I would like to say is about uh, uh, how the uh, Fadnavis government has handled some of the very, you know, very important issues or very, you know, very uh, problematic issues. For example, take the Mah Maratha reservation agitations. So it was spread all over the state. There were protests. Entire Maharashtra was in a standstill. Then come to the agrarian crisis. So these are issues which were of big, 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 big scale. The Maratha, Maharashtra had 10 Maratha chief ministers before Fadnavis and they could not implement or you know fulfill the Maratha reservation promise. In 2014 when the NCP and Congress government passed the bill for namesake it was rejected by the High Court. But okay. now again this government. No, but, but if you see that if one has to see, see changing hands it is in Marathwada region where many seats are being <laughs> taken back by Congress. NCP combined. So yes. it's actually going out of, you know, so what you're saying is these are the achievements if you're listing, but this is where he seemed to have lost. No, uh, see, the. Or losing. See, uh, Marathas were the core vote bank for the NCP and Congress since independence till date. So Maratha vote bank is something which is new for the BJP, which is trying to, you know, uh, uh, get the vote bank. So if you analyze, two, uh, <laughs> if you analyze 2014, uh, 2019 Lok Sabha elections, 65 percentage of the Maratha population had voted for the BJP and Shiv Sena lands. Yeah. So, uh, like uh, one more thing I would like to say is people differentiate between a Lok Sabha election and a state election. Yeah, but, but I do agree, people but do differentiate. <laughs> but then during campaign that wasn't what it was made to be. What was made was that it is the national issues like, see like uh, Prime Minister even pointed out, Mr. Modi in his campaign said that how come Jammu Kashmir Article 370 doesn't resonate in Maharashtra. He was saying that it does resonate. Uh, I'll come to that. Uh, uh, the other question I want to ask you is in both the cases, you represent the two national parties, but the regional parties seem to have done better. That's whereas true. it was being said that regional parties are going to be written off. What do you have to say about national, uh, you know, NCP, which seems to have done better than Absolutely. Congress? No, I certainly agree with you. Um, I think uh, uh, as part of the introspection, um, you know, Congress also rethinks its um, strategy for the states, you know, the state leaders um, who emerge from the ground level, you know, if uh, there is space given for such leaders, uh, then I think um, that is, uh, that will certainly take us uh, to the next level. So, um, uh, we've, uh, Mr. Pawar is uh, certainly a congressman, you know, he comes from the Congress lineage. So yes, though um, I agree with you and uh, I hope uh, the introspection uh, leads to uh, such possibilities within the Congress party. Um, another thing that I want to point out is uh, NRC registry. Uh, Mr. Amit Shah did not have any issues at all to talk about, uh, about uh, his own Qatar government's uh, uh, performance in uh, Haryana. He went and talked about NRC in uh, Haryana. Uh, and I think uh, many people gave the feedback that uh, they don't, they didn't even un, un, uh, understand what NRC stood for. So, uh, I mean, I think it is time for BJP to uh, think about governance and uh, not just think about, you know, these emotional issues that uh, flare up, you know, uh, communal, national, hyper-nationalistic uh, feelings. You know, they should start thinking about uh, real governance. I, do, I wonder if they are capable of. So, coming to economic issues, um, I think... Uh, we were warning the entire country about uh, the economic uh, so, uh, slowdown so that the country was heading to, mm. uh, but that uh, did not have an effect during the Lok Sabha elections. Whereas uh, now uh, people have started to realize, you know, the joblessness or uh, the, uh, the entire uh, small, small and medium scale business uh, not uh, being able to sell. Uh, all that has now started having an impact. So uh, so if you see Haryana, it was 10 out of 10 in Lok Sabha elections. And now there is a 25% drop in the voting percentage. And uh, Maharashtra, again, it was 40 out of 48. And uh, 
that's not certainly the case. Uh, yeah. no. uh, you know, I, I kind of, uh, you know, we have to wrap it. I would like to take your, uh, you know, concluding comments. I, I would say that you're saying that economic issues are now being, uh, the, the, that's People started to realize. That's the, you know, uh, finally to wrap it up, uh, if you have to quickly tell me, what is that you think are the takeaway from the two elections, assembly elections, for you? So, so like it started with uh, what we as a party understand is we'll have to you know expand our party apparatus even beyond what it is today. That I, is I think your party apparatus, you know, it's it's actually works wonderfully. I mean, where no, uh, what else I, you would do? I mean the I mean the presence of the party because like I told you these. Two states are not traditionally BJP states. It's only now we are, you know, building up local leaders, local presence, booth level presence. But do you do you uh, agree that, or do you even foresee that the issues of, uh, you know, nationalism or NRC or are these issues working? Article three seventy. Do you think these issues work in a state election? No. Are uh, they working? How much? Are, they, are is, is there an overemphasis on these issues and no. real issues like economy, unemployment? Are they are they being ignored? Is that the result of that? See, I think more than whether it's working or not, those things are very important. For example, NRC is not a BJP project. It was started even when Congress was in government, monitored Who's by the Supreme up? Court. No, no, the entire NRC process which is happening in Assam is monitored by the Supreme Court under the directions of the Supreme Court. It's not a BJP project. And why? So, so why, I, I, can, you, you, can you quickly, in conclusion, say that uh, less than expected results? You still be winning in Maharashtra. You may not. Uh, you may. I don't know what the final thing is. It's a ding dong battle right now. What is your final? Uh, take away. So, Maharashtra, like he explained, it's a better performance compared to the last time when you compare it with the seating percentage and all those things. And Haryana, so we'll have to still wait for the results, but whatever, if what is seeming to be the present situation, and yeah, it is below our expectations, that is true. Okay, thank you. Quickly, what's your takeaway? Uh, takeaway is uh, we are uh, good at uh, governance and bad at uh, politics. So, keep the governance aspect, you know, whatever we are good at, you know, politics is something that uh, I think we have to learn from them. Um, uh, you know, we have to do a lot of introspection and uh, as I told okay, you earlier, we have, to, yeah. we have to present ourselves as a viable option for the people. People are, uh, you know, unhappy with the governance that has been delivered. If we, you know, politically, if we are uh, uh, able to present ourselves as a viable option, I think um, we will soon uh, you know, just yeah. change, see Final, a yeah. complete yeah. reversal. Yeah. Final yeah. comment, 2014 when we took over, the ease of banking, uh, ease of business ranking according to the World Bank was 148. All, all and today it is 77, all, all that, so that, that shows pretty much who governs better. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's uh, not th true. Thank you very much. I have to conclude this. Uh, it's been uh, unusually uh, different election uh, where... Uh, there is a very clear message which perhaps uh, coming to the opposition. Uh, people seem to have stood up as opposition, though opposition itself hasn't, uh, you know, fight the election as they should have. And there seem to be a lot of uh, lessons for BJP as well. Thank you for watching this special episode of The Federal. Thank you very much for coming to the studios. Thank you.